In this video, I'm going to be giving away $100 worth of eShop gift cards while talking about why Nintendo seems to be denying that Joy-Con drift is even a problem. Man, stay tuned right after we talk about our giveaways. We actually got a couple giveaways going on right now that have nothing to do with the eShop gift cards or whatever the heck I'm giving away during this video. We're giving away a Nintendo Switch, an Xbox Series X, or a PlayStation 5. I'm also giving away two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Links down in the description, all that to figure it out. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, all that jazz. All right, let's go. Uh, we're gonna be talking about this because Nintendo is legally saying, trying to argue against a current ongoing lawsuit by saying, hey, look, uh, Joy-Con Drift, it's fake news. Fake news, everyone, fake news. But here's the deal. Throughout this video, I'm going to be releasing different codes. One of them is going to appear right here. Throughout the video, there'll be other codes. You could take those codes, go to a link in the description, uh, and it'll allow you to enter to win some eShop gift cards, up to $100 in eShop gift cards. And guess what? You're going to want to come back to this video tomorrow at the same time that it's published now because that is when the winners will be announced in a pinned comment down in the comment section. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Let's get going. So, Nintendo is in a lawsuit right now over Joy-Con Drift. There is a massive lawsuit going on right now in the United States. Uh... A class action suit that anyone can sign up for and the law firm put out an email that leaked on reddit uh, asking people who are participating in the class action lawsuit to send in video clips and evidence of drift because they are trying to refute Nintendo's legal argument what is Nintendo's legal argument well <coughs> According to them, according to the lawyers on the class action lawsuit trying to beat Nintendo, it says this will be helpful in, in us helping us respond to Nintendo's arguments about how this is Nintendo's arguments. This isn't a real problem and hasn't caused anyone any convenience. That's right. Nintendo has said Joy-Con drift is not a real problem and has caused nobody any inconvenience. Come on now, Nintendo. Come on, this is my seventh pair of Joy-Cons I've owned since day one. Every single pair, except this one surprisingly, has had drift. This is other issues, I'm missing the little cap on it, but whatever. Point is, every single pair until this one has had drift, and it's probably only a matter of time before this one does as well. Nintendo has publicly acknowledged drift. They have opened up free Joy-Con repairs in the United States because of Joy-Con drift. Shintura Furukawa, not that long ago, apologized, publicly apologized at an investor's meeting for Joy-Con issues in response to a question about Joy-Con drift. Now Nintendo's legal defense is Joy-Con drift is basically fake news and uh, isn't real. Doesn't happen. No one is inconvenienced by drift. This is to me, an easily defeatable point. Uh, the lawyers are asking people uh, to submit videos. Um, so, you know, thank you for contacting our law firm about the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con Drift litigation because someone, basically what happened is someone contacted the law firm asking for an update. Uh, and it says, we are working to put together a montage of video clips from Nintendo Switch owners, such as yourself, as a way to give voice to the Joy-Con Drift issues you've experienced. In an effort to humanize and demonstrate these issues and their impact on consumers, it would be helpful to our prosecution of the case if you would submit a short 90 second or less video to us describing your experience with a joy-con drift on your controller so yeah like they're legitimately like fighting the good fight nintendo i don't know what's wrong like the joy cons are fine in that of themselves i don't mind how small they are i don't mind even the little tiny little shoulder buttons when you turn on the side but the biggest issue, the biggest issue of all is that drift. Why won't Nintendo fix it? It is very un-Nintendo-like to leave an issue like this going for this long. I mean, how many years has it been? Seriously, how many years has it been? But I'm so, oh, I'm like, seriously, there's no drift, Nintendo? There's no drift? I hope I didn't break them. <laughs> but seriously, there's drift on the Pro Controller. You see this controller right here? You see this? You see this thing? There's drift on this. Now, I've modified this, so Nintendo will argue, if you didn't modify it, you wouldn't have any drift. I had drift on three other Pro Controllers. It's not just a Joy-Con problem, it's just happening more frequently on Joy-Cons. 
it is incredibly frustrating as a Nintendo fan to deal with this big of a product flaw that we are now entering almost four years in. We start four years next year, like this far in, and we do not have a solution. It is incredibly infuriating. But you know, at the end of the day, we have to just deal with the best we can deal with and decide for ourselves, is it worth continuing to buy the Joy-Con or, or there are third party options that are different. Now, I actually might be looking into some of those options. I'm kind of thinking about a video where I might feature some third party Joy-Con alternatives, especially for portable mode, uh, where you're not taking them off the side, where you just leave it on the side and whatever, you know, I have a video coming up where we're gonna talk about this bad boy right here and charging your Switch and keeping it alive even longer when you're in portable mode. But <sighs> Nintendo, come here, come closer, come close, Nintendo. Let me tell you something. Joy-Con drift is a real problem. Okay, it is forcing consumers to buy Joy-Cons before they need to. It's forcing them to send them in for repair and sometimes wait over a month to get them back. It is forcing people to waste money and waste time that they could be spending on buying games and playing games instead dealing with a controller issue that has been well known and acknowledged by your CEO and also by Nintendo of America as a real issue. You cannot use a legal defense when you are publicly admitting there's a problem that it's no one's inconvenience. No, no. The dozens of, of well, dozens, what I'm talking about, thousands of news articles, the hundreds of thousands of, uh, you know, videos out there on Joy-Con Drift. My video, I'm talking about, oh, here's a fix for Joy-Con Drift with over 50,000 views. No one's affected. I'm supposed to believe that, that no one's affected, Nintendo? Really? Really? You know what it makes me want to do with my Switch? Throw it in the trash. No Switches were harmed in the making of this video. I don't think. <laughs> Seriously though guys, I am frustrated by this as much as you guys. This has been a real problem. The Nintendo Switch for whatever reason, as modern as it is, as adult appeal as it has, has also been one of the least durable platforms. Think about all the issues we dealt with just the Joy-Cons alone. We're still dealing with Joy-Con drift. When the Nintendo Switch launched, they ran the antenna up against the battery hub and your palm, which blocked the signal and caused some issues trying to communicate the dang left Joy-Con to your Switch when you took it off of the dock. Okay, well, all right, then what else? Well, um, there are these little plastic nubs for the locking system instead of metal ones. So if you put on the straps the wrong way, you can actually break the lock. That's kind of not good. Um, in addition to that, we had switches that were bending, but it really wasn't the switch's fault. It was more so the dock's fault because the docks were warped. The docks also didn't originally include padding inside, so they would scratch the screens of your switch. Oh, by the way, the screens of the switch being plastic, I don't consider a flaw, but maybe including a metal or a metal, a, uh, a screen protector in there would have been nice. Even like a cheap plastic film one would have been nice to at least you know prevent scratches of some sort. I, th there's been more issues with the switch. You know, it gets to the kickstand. The kickstand is flimsy as hell and wears out really fast. I, I just, I don't understand Nintendo sometimes with the Switch. They are usually known for their hardware durability, and they've had bad hardware in the in the past. Hello, N64 sticks. Like, yeah, those weren't good, but it's never been this bad. This many problems. This is the number one problem plaguing the Switch. It's not a lack of games. It's not the Nintendo Switch Online service, good or bad. It's Joy-Con Drift. So please, Nintendo, I beg of you. I beg and I plead. Please, Jesus, help me out. And hey, if you made it to the end of the video, here's another code. You know what? Why not one more right here? You guys are welcome. Good luck on that giveaway. Remember to come back tomorrow to find out who wins. Are you experiencing Joy-Con Drift? You let me know down in the comments below how BS... Nintendo statements really are.